G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Garmin R10. I'm gonna be talking about troubleshooting tips to help you connect this thing to your PC or your laptop. This video is probably long overdue. I have done a lot of troubleshooting tips and just personally direct message people. I've had people direct message me. I've contacted people through the comment section of my YouTube video. It's been a bit, I'm gonna say crazy. There's not been a lot of formal direction from me how to troubleshoot these tips. So I thought what I'd do today is make a video just outlining all of the troubleshooting tips you can take in order to try and get this thing connected to your laptop or PC. Hopefully this helps out a few people. I know there's a lot of people struggling recently with this connection. I've just recently played with my Garmin a few rounds and I haven't had any issues, but I have had this connected for a long time and hopefully in today's video, I'll be able to help some of you out getting this thing connected, not only getting it connected, but keeping it connected to your computer. So let's talk troubleshooting tips. Okay, so I am sharing my display now, as you can see, and I'm gonna start by completely removing my Garmin R10 from my computer, just so I can start from scratch. If this all goes horribly wrong and I can't pair it again, at least I'm in the same boat as people who can't connect it. So I'll jump into my Bluetooth settings and straight off the bat, you can see I have my Approach R10 and my Foresight GC2. Unfortunately, fortunately, my GC2 did sell, so I can actually just remove that because I no longer have it. It's sad, sad days. I do miss that thing, it was such a good device. Okay, so Approach R10, let's remove this device. Okay, that's completely removed now. So first step is to turn the R10 on and I'm gonna actually hold the button down until I see a solid blue light. A solid blue light means this thing is in pairing mode. So there we go. I have a solid blue light. This thing is now in pairing mode. Then I'm gonna click on add device and I'm gonna go Bluetooth and I'm just gonna wait and hopefully this comes up. And if it doesn't, we can go through some troubleshooting steps. The other thing I should do actually is turn off my Bluetooth on my phone because I don't want my R10 connecting to any of my devices. So I'll turn that Bluetooth off. I'll turn my iPad Bluetooth off as well. So hopefully this thing is just recognized by my computer now. Okay, it doesn't look good. I might have uh, completely screwed myself over. So let's cancel that and we'll try and connect again. Let's go uh, everything else. Okay, I've got a few other devices coming up now. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working, so we'll cancel that. We'll go add a device, Bluetooth, and we'll just give it a minute just to try and sort its life out. We have got a solid blue light, so it should be pairing now. Okay. It looks like it's not findable. So I'm gonna, act, I'm gonna have to actually legitimately go through some troubleshooting steps now, and hopefully some of these steps work. Okay, so the first step was to actually turn off Bluetooth on any of my other devices. So step one, turn off Bluetooth on your phone, your iPad, whatever devices you've had connected to this thing, turn it off. The next step, I'm actually gonna turn the R10 off while it's in pairing mode, uh, the computer that is, and I'm gonna hold it and turn it back on. And we'll see it light up. And we'll see it go into pairing mode again. And we'll just see if that now finds it. So I'm just gonna try this step a few times just to see if it actually works. So we are in pairing mode. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working, so we'll cancel out of that. Okay, so none of that seems to be working. So the second step is to turn your Bluetooth to advanced mode. So let's do that. So from here, I'm gonna actually click on view more devices. And then I'm gonna scroll down to where it says Bluetooth device discovery. I'm gonna change that from default to advanced. Now, hopefully that works. We'll click back on Bluetooth and devices. We'll go add a device, Bluetooth. And there we go, straight away, it's popped up with Approach R10. So that troubleshooting step worked. I'm now getting all my other things come up, my Tax Neo, my Trainer, and all these other things. So I'm gonna click on Approach R10. And now that is connecting. 
and we are connected and it has the battery life there is 70%. Cool, we'll click done. So that's the first step. If you're struggling with connection like I was, do the advanced Bluetooth and that should work. If it doesn't though, there are a few more steps. What you'll notice now is my device has actually gone to not connected and it will stay like that until you open the actual connector within GS Pro. I'll get to that later. Let's still talk about troubleshooting steps. Okay, the next troubleshooting step. If you are having issues, you're in advanced mode, the next thing you can do is to actually jump into your firewall settings and just disable them all. This is not ideal because you don't wanna have firewalls disabled if you're gonna be using your laptop for a lot of different things, you're gonna be using it for surfing the internet. If you're only using it for me, like my golf sim, this is my laptop for my golf sim. I don't do anything else on it. If this is your dedicated laptop or computer for your golf sim, you can turn your firewalls off. I've had my firewalls off for a year and a half now and I've had no issues. However, if you're using this for other things and you're downloading things on here, you probably don't wanna do that. So how do we do that? We'll go into settings and we'll just type in firewall and then we can go to firewall and network protection. Now I know there's gonna be some computer nerds um, or people who are good with computers on here that are saying, they'll scream at me. And I know there's one guy in particular who's helped me optimize my laptop. He'll be screaming at me, Marcus, if you are watching this, I apologize. Maybe you can help me out in another video. He's helped me out optimize my laptop for GS Pro and he's probably gonna see this and think, oh man, what is this guy doing? If you are, I, I'm sorry, Marcus, help me out, contact me again on Discord. Okay, so what I've done is I've turned all of my firewalls to off. So domain network, firewall off, private network, firewall off, and also the public network, network, my firewall is off. Do that just as a test, just as a troubleshooting step, then go back, try and pair your R10 uh, with the advanced Bluetooth mode. Okay, if that fails, I have had a subscriber contact me and he said he the way he's found out how to fix this, he's had issues with this connection. The way he's figured out how to fix this is by going into a security setting in Windows 11. Once I disabled the check apps and files in the security settings, it worked. So let's go to security settings. So we'll go Windows security settings and we wanna to go to check apps and files. So if we go to app and browser control and we go to smart app control settings. So I have mine to off. So that's smart app control. So that smart app control is off, but let's try and find where it says check apps and files. So that's the smart app control. We'll go back. Okay, so if we look at reputation-based protection, this says this is the settings that protects your device from malicious or potentially unwanted apps, files, and websites. If we go to reputation-based protection settings, just there, we'll click on that. Now you have this thing that says check apps and files. So Microsoft Defender Smart Screen helps protect your device by checking for unrecognized apps and files from the web. I had a subscriber say he turned this to off and it fixed the issues he was having with the connection of his R10 to his laptop. So potentially check app, apps and files, turn off as a troubleshooting step. It looks like I have this one turned off, potentially unwanted app blocking. So I have that to off and maybe that's why my R10 is working. So have a play with these settings, turn a few things off just as a troubleshooting step, see if it works. If it works, keep them off. If it doesn't work, then turn them back on. But it looks like this potentially unwanted app blocking is the setting that I've got turned off. However, the subscriber that contacted me said he turned this check apps and files off. Potentially it does the same thing, but that is the next troubleshooting step. Again, once you've done that, go in and try and connect your R10 using the advanced Bluetooth setting. If all of that fails, what's your next option? If all of that fails, head over to Amazon, jump in the settings and get one of these third party Bluetooth dongles. It doesn't really matter which one. In fact, you're probably better off getting a, a Bluetooth 4 adapter, just an old one. They're not that expensive. Um, get one of these third party adapters and see if that works. Because if you can't connect to your laptop using the inbuilt Bluetooth dongle, get an external dongle check it out, they're cheap, see if it works. So that is my final troubleshooting step. If all of that fails, hopefully 
someone in the comments of this YouTube video will have some other additional troubleshooting steps because that is the extent of my knowledge. If that fails, hopefully this video will just become a hub for people and you can look in the comments and hopefully someone's commented and come up with a better solution. Okay, so once I'm connected, how do I actually open GS Pro and pair this thing up? How do I get it going? What's the sequence? The sequence I use, the first thing I'll do when I come in my sim room, and bear in mind, once you've connected this with uh, Bluetooth to your laptop or PC once, you won't have to do it every time you come in here. Once it says not connected on your Bluetooth settings and it's in that window, you don't have to connect it each time you come in. The sequence now, all I do is turn my Garmin R10 on. It currently has a flashing blue light. I've just turned it on, that's fine. It says approach R10, not connected. So the next step now is I'm actually gonna launch GS Pro. Okay, we'll wait for GS Pro to launch and we'll wait for the open API to pop up before I actually start this connector. Okay, so the open API is up. I'll just wait till GS Pro completely finishes launching. Okay, and now I have GS Pro, the main menu. I've got the open API connect up and I've got my uh, settings up where it says approach R10 not connected. What's the next step? Let's select GS Pro. I'm actually gonna hit F11 to make it a windowed view, and then I'm gonna minimize it so I can actually access all of the uh, applications on my desktop. Now I'm gonna look for the connector, and now I'm gonna launch the, the actual R10 connector, so mHollow's connector. Uh, the most recent version of this is still 2.1.1, I believe, so I'll double click on that folder, and this is the connector here. So that's 2.1.1, and then you've got the ball tracking and the settings.json uh, file. So I'm gonna launch the connector and it's gonna run through all of its uh, steps now. It's gonna calibrate the device. If you have this connector, it does the calibration for you. You don't actually need to do the calibration in the Garmin R10 app before you launch this. This connector does the calibration for you. I now have a gr flashing green light on my R10. So that's all ready to go. And what you'll notice is I have a green bar on the Open API Connect, and in my settings, it says Bluetooth devices approach R10 now connected with a battery percentage. So it, now it is all good. I'm good to go, I'm good to start hitting shots in GS Pro. So I'll minimize that, I'll open GS Pro back up, and now I'm simply good to go. I can head out to the range. This thing's quite good, it'll stay connected, it's a solid connection. What happens though, if it doesn't stay connected? If it doesn't stay connected, go and disable some of those earlier things that I was talking about, the firewalls, um, the trusted apps, where it says check apps and files, try disable that, see if that works. Do some of those earlier troubleshooting steps if it starts dropping out. Additionally, if this, as soon as you launch this, changes the name of the actual device in your Bluetooth settings, some people, when they launch this mHollow connector, it actually changes the name in their Bluetooth settings to approach R1 instead of approach R10. If it does that, this thing will never connect. So what you have to do is you need to go into your settings, you'll have your connector that you just launched and you'll have this thing that says settings.json. Uh, you wanna open this settings.json file. And this is only if it changes your um, Bluetooth name in your Bluetooth settings. Select notepad, we'll open it through that. This is gonna bring up your JSON settings. So within this file, you're gonna find the name where it says Bluetooth device approach R10. If your Bluetooth setting changes your name to approach R1, simply open this file and change this name within here to say approach R1. So just change, all you're gonna to have to do is delete the zero out of that save it, and now your Garmin R10 will connect up and everything will work. That's only if it changes the name in your Bluetooth settings. It randomly does this to some people. Okay, as you can see, I've still got a solid connection. Everything is working. If you find that it's dropping out, like I said, go through some of those troubleshooting steps. Additionally, make sure you're on the latest version of this connector. I do have an old version of this connector down here, so maybe I will unpin this from the taskbar, but make sure you're on the 
the newest firmware of your R10, make sure you're on the newest version of the connector, 2.1.1. I hope that helps some of you. I really hope it does. If you haven't had any success still connecting your device, check the comment section of this video. I'm sure there's a lot of people who have done a lot of troubleshooting steps that can help you and assist you. Feel free to join the Joe Legowski Golf Facebook group. There's people on there as well that can try and assist. There's a lot of smart people. We can and we will get your R10 connected to your computer. It's just going to take time and patience. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. Any comments or questions, let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.